You may not want to know this heading into summer, but great white sharks are increasingly lurking off our beaches. The cooler water means they're hanging around for longer, as well as moving up and down the coast. They're scars that tell a savage story. That was the top of its jaw, that was the side. The bottom and the other side got the board. Andrew Lindop was having a morning surf at Avalon when a great white shark mauled his leg. Almost 20 months on, he's back on his board with a different attitude. I am more wary. I'm sort of look out and consider where to go or what to do. They're rare attacks but stark reminders. 18 sharks have been spotted off Sydney's beaches in the past two months. Cooler water temperatures enticing more great whites to hang around. And this latest research tracking bull sharks shows they're on the move. They're moving around the Sydney Harbour in, in massive distances. While numbers haven't increased, they're behaving differently. The biggest sharks are hunting humpback whales loitering around Sydney. But they're not the problem. The sharks that pose the biggest threat to humans are actually the smaller great whites up to three metres long. They're the ones that will swim closer to shorelines looking for a feeding frenzy. And at the moment, there are plenty of bait fish around. They're the types of sharks that, um, that will bite at oars, bite bits of seaweed, and unfortunately they're the ones that tend to bite at surface. Aerial patrols and shark nets are there to protect us, but experts warn simple common sense could save your life. If you swim early in the morning or late in the afternoon, I think you're putting yourself at a much higher risk. Dimity Clancy, Nine News.